When you think of sharks, you probably picture fierce predators. But did you know they play a vital role in keeping our oceans healthy? Sharks are at the top of the marine food chain, and that makes them crucial caretakers of the sea. They help control the populations of other marine animals, which keep things in balance. For example, by keeping prey numbers in check, sharks prevent overgrazing of seagrass beds and coral reefs, two habitats that are essential for ocean life. They are most often thought of as a top predator, but they fulfill different roles. You know, they are top and meso predators. And so that means that they help to maintain populations of other fish, of their prey. And what that does is help keep things in balance. So sharks will eat their prey in certain numbers and so that they don't be, their prey doesn't become overabundant and then, you know, decimate what their prey eats, right? And then we get this collapse and this imbalance of things. Did you know Belize is a shark hotspot? With over 40 different species swimming in our waters, it's no wonder marine biologists are so fascinated by our coastline. From vibrant coral reefs to lush seagrass beds and winding mangrove forests, Belize's diverse marine habitats offer the perfect home for these incredible creatures. Sharks are important for many reasons. Um, they're important to the marine ecosystem to balance the food chain, to if there's a sick, fit, sick fish on the reef, they, um, they can clean up that fish. They're sort of the garbage truck of the ocean, especially the tiger shark. We're heading out to sea, 28 miles off the coast of Riversdale in the Stan Creek district, where a small but passionate team is diving into shark research. Hector Martinez and Jessica Quinlan are leading the charge on this expedition to Glover's Reef, a stunning partially submerged atoll that marks the edge of Belize Barrier Reef. It's a chain of islands 28 miles long and seven and a half miles wide, teeming with marine life. Joining them are three young seafarers, all family and all second generation fisher folk, bringing their deep rooted knowledge of the sea to their mission. Together, they're helping scientists track the migration patterns of sharks in Belize's southern waters. With the Belize Fund, the work we've been doing is um, setting down baited remote underwater video station, they're called BROVs. The idea behind that, or the, the, what we do with that data, is you're, they can um, monitor the shark abundance in Belize. The bigger part of that is part of um, FinPrint, uh, and they're sampling in 52 different countries, I think it is. There's probably 10 years of BROV footage for Glover's Reef, and so they can, over the 10 years, they can monitor when the sharks were, went up, when they went down, or if they're they're like staying at a normal amount. Today, the team is taking a plunge and will descend to a depth of about 70 feet. They gear up, double check their diving equipment and slip into the Asia waters of the Caribbean Sea. Each diver is given a receiver and, after bobbing on the surface for a few minutes, they begin their descent. The brobs, you know, we set an underwater camera for one hour and 30 minutes. You know, they, they get set and we see sharks, all kinds of sharks. We see hammerhead, we see reef sharks, so all, all types of fish. So that's a very, very good thing. Sharks aren't just roaming the ocean aimlessly. There's a purpose for their journey. Their migration helps mix up the gene pool, giving populations a healthy boost in diversity. It also lets them find mates, hunt for food, and stay in tune with changes in their environment. In short, Ocean travelers are following nature's cues to keep their species thriving. My first, my very first trip to Belize was back in 2017, where I began working with the Belize Fisheries Department to roll out a new protocol or monitoring system to monitor catch landings of the shark fishery. Um, so alongside the logbooks that fishers are required to submit, we asked them to remove a specific fin from each shark that they landed and from that fin we were able to determine uh, we were building a program that we could determine what species were being landed how many and then also uh, calculate what size individuals were being landed it's fernando castellanos's first time scuba diving in open waters and helping hector he may tell we had a, a trip for, for set out some receivers and he tell me if you're interested well let me know and i tell her yes i want to go for get get more experience so this is new to me and I love, I love the experience. By studying shark populations and migration patterns in the Caribbean Sea and Belize, researchers can inform conservation efforts, promote ecosystem balance, and support sustainable management practices. We go out and we tag sharks, right? 
and Gladden is one of the spots that we tag a bunch of sharks and they're trying to track the movement of sharks within the Mesoamerican Barra Reef. And so you tag the shark, you give the shark a little surgery on the, um, on the, like, the body cavity area, put a little acoustic tag in there, sew it back up and you release the shark. And then you set these receivers at different spots. You usually set a couple around right where you caught the shark, but then you go set them at random spots hoping that the shark will swim by there or another shark that someone else had tagged will swim by there and the receiver will pick up that that tag because the tag releases a signal and the receiver will pick that up and with that we can say oh the shark was tagged at Gladden and someone um, got it on the receiver up in Islamo Harris so it's traveling and maybe every year it comes at Gladden at this specific time when the snappers are spawning and so you can track movement. For members of the Belize Shark Fishers Association Tagging sharks is part of a bigger picture. It's a smart way to earn a living while protecting the ocean. It's a sustainable alternative that helps them manage fish stocks responsibly, all while playing a key role in marine conservation. So all of this, bro, I think is a very good thing because, you know, I'm a lobster diver, spearfishing, so when you give us jobs like that, it takes a lot of pressure from, from, the, from the lobsters and the fish stock, so then you know, it's a good thing and I do it along with my brothers and my father. So, you know, it brings all of us together. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.